We're sponsored by Manscaped, as usual, here on this podcast. Uh, we mention it up front because it's the most supportive. It's the most supportive sponsor we have. They hang in there through all our effing and blinding. Uh, do you have a Manscaped? No, I do not. No, well, I have 13 of them if you want one. It's 2023. <laughs> you got to shave them fucking nuts, man. Yeah. And uh, go into 2023 it's gleaming. No, gleaming. Do, do, you have, do you have a Manscaped? No. I'm I'm no. like Oprah over here. I'm going to be throwing <laughs> Manscaped at everybody. You get a clean sack. You get a clean sack. You get a clean sack. Um, <laughs> everyone knows it's just the best device in the world for uh, just taking care of your downstairs pubic area. Mm. And it's called Manscaped, Aaron, but I would, t- I would dare say you could take it to a pair of flaps, no ball. <laughs> um, I would suggest, and it's the new year, you know what I mean? Uh, people will be pushing that as a Christmas present, but I'm more like, it's 2023, you got to go into the year with a pristine undercarriage absolutely and uh you know get the care package there it's got it's got the the ball toner it's got the cologne it's got the moisturizer it's got the lawnmower 4.0 you know what i mean it's got the weed whacker goes in your ears or your nostril or any other hairy or how does the, how does the uh, ball toner work well once you shave your nut it's it, you know it's like a post shave balm mm. so once you've taken and <laughs> taken into the satchel Yes. Uh, and you're like, you know, obviously it's snag free, so you're not chewing it up. But mm. once you've had a go at it, it's been worked over. You get the toner on there and it brings it nice and taut again. That is lovely now. Yeah. Some upkeep. Some upkeep, yeah. But you know what I mean? It's self-care. Yeah. It's self-care. And, you know, we're dealing with a lot of toxic masculinity where men don't want to take care of themselves. Yeah. But they should. They should. Starting with their nut bag. <laughs> so uh, if you go to manscaped.com, use the code jambamp one you get 20% off. Crazy. Where else would you get it? Knows. Don't swear on my ass. Sorry. Manscaped.com. Use the code Jambat1 for 20% off. You love it, guys. We'll start the podcast over. The General Banter Podcast with Colin Jettis. Today is a Happy New Year. Today, Aaron's dying. It's not alcohol related either. It's not alcohol related for once because you're clean, aren't you? Clean I'm sober. Clean. I'm clean sober. What's wrong with you today? I think, you know, if I was to make an educated guess, I think it is coming off the vapes. I've been very jittery. I've been very irritable. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm waking up most nights at about 4 a.m. It's not good. You mm-hmm. know, I don't feel well. For, have you noticed <clears throat> this? I feel like you're a doctor now. Have you noticed this just since quitting the vapes? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Like direct correlation. Yeah. Like New Year's Eve, had my last strawberry kiwi. Uh, it was a lovely one. But, say, but you know what? Don't worry about it because with this is strawberry kiwi, we've got, you, we got you a flavoured water today. You see, he's, so a, if he's you, a deep thinker, this man. If you, you know? can't vape it, you might you, can, you might as well drink it. It's getting Although, the way it's, It is weird. You do go to drink this water. Like, <sighs> Do that after you drink it. Drink that. Ah, yes, to be young again. To be young again. So, yeah, apologies in advance for um, my uh, <laughs> overall aura today. So, you do, you know, it's it is, it's not heroin you're coming off here? No. So well, should, should you, you know, depends who you talk to. Because it's just, a, it's this time of year and, um, you know, you, you probably are sitting across the table with full dose of COVID. Yeah. No, but, but I've been ducking that for three years. Not a chance. I'm getting that. <laughs> ducking that? She's like ducking that shit. Mayweather of fucking okay, COVID. <laughs> Has your man had it? No, she hasn't had it either. No, nah, she's up there. Full fat milk, that's what it is. Is it? Yeah. She's vaping full fat milk? <laughs> she got that old Dale Farm vape on deck. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, but did you say to me the other day, what's it like? what was it like quitting cigarettes? Yeah. And what? which one did you say was four times stronger? Well, apparently, because nicotine is the addictive substance, apparently in, a, in an elf bar, they have the equivalent to like 48 cigarettes worth of nicotine just mm-hmm. in that vape. Yeah. So, you know, I've been on a few reddits and all this here, and people are saying, yeah, like, as someone who's quit fags and this, this is harder. Right. But I don't know. I think that's a lot to do with you can do it. You can, all the time. You can do it all the time, yeah. anywhere. You can sit on the shitter. It is nice. You know, like, what will happen is, you know, eventually when I quit the vapes, someone will walk in the bathroom like, who's shit in here? Because <laughs> for months I've just been going to go, hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where am I lush? Well, that's why I knew it was becoming a problem because I was even saying that. Got the sweats now. The coat's a, coming off. There was a couple. Of th- Jesus, watch that. Jesus, um, <laughs> man, <laughs> man, <laughs> you hear me, man, <laughs> ripping hey, them uh, weights. Uh, holy fuck! It's, uh, the, uh, it's the rest for me. Uh, the geezer sucked too. Eh? The ge- uh, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that was a noise you made every time you flexed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. If I ever, my life fell apart and I became a bodybuilder, <laughs> just on stage. Ah! 
do you think most people that are bodybuilders are live to fall apart? For sure. <laughs> you, you, take, you show me a bodybuilder that hasn't been in prison. <laughs> You know, if, if you walk, see if there's an orange guy in your gym and he's absolutely fucking liver kinged out. Yeah, you yeah. You walk up to him and be like, all right, man, what's your crack? And he goes, I'm off the coke. Yeah. You know, he'd, he'd say something like, oh, I can't, don't speak to my family, so I speak to these wits now. Yeah, you're like, thank fuck you found left and heavy things repeatedly. Thank God you found dumbbells because it yeah. would have been heroin <laughs> to death. Uh, what about now this craze of uh, cunts buying wheelie bins and just sticking you know, four liters of water and then hop it into it. It's cold water therapy. Go to actual therapy is what I'd say. Here, Well, here's the thing. There is science behind a lot of these trends. Listen, I understand. I'm a cold shower man myself, mm -hmm. but I'm never going to... Imagine me trying to get into a fucking wheelie bin. Oh, it's not for me or you. Me man, <laughs> me man making a fucking friend. I've seen... I've seen uh, I've seen boys, you can buy like an actual inflatable little tub and you get into it and you sit like in a little, a little fetal position. But I looked at that and I was like, I wouldn't get my fucking hole in that. Is that not just like a kid's play pool? No, it's, no, you see, again, because it's specifically for cold water therapy, it's probably- It's made by Reebok it, or It's probably 50, it's probably 1500 pound. But if you did want, uh, well, look, quite literally, you can get in the bin, so it doesn't matter. You, yeah. you can get in whatever you want. And where do you buy the bin? You just buy the bin from the council? 20 pound, fill it with water? Are you, I dare say you could use your own bin. I don't even know where I'd, I don't even know where in the house I would fill up a bin. I'd have to get probably the host did or something. Ah, uh, you would. Well, here's the thing: th these lunatics are realizing, and I noticed this when we shot that blender lost tapes and I had to jump in the big tub of hot water mm. or cold water. So yes, I just put the hose in it, and the hose is obviously running off the regular water that is the cold water in your house. Yes, so it's not actually that cold. Yeah, like I jumped in and had to be like, oh, oh, freezing. Yeah, it wasn't that cold. Like yeah. Versus like the sea or like a fucking pond somewhere. Oh, the pond I went to. Aye, that's, that was, they. They tend to be colder. Rotten. They tend to be colder. But like, people are buying these little pod things that make the fucking thing colder than cold water at your house. Yeah. But apparently, like you do get like a, it's either dopamine or serotonin. It might be like I think it's serotonin. <laughs> like, I think you get fucking something from it. No, but literally, like you get a boost that does last you about two hours or something. Right. You, you do get a quite a substantial boost. Yeah. Which you do notice because if you ever do go in the sea and you come out and you get dried and put your clothes on, you do feel very like... No, I've experienced feel, that before, yeah. very relaxed and everything. So me, people do get addicted to that. Like. Me and Tim went sea dipping and then afterwards I was listening to uh, Millionaire by Khalees. Mm -hmm. Pure euphoria. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was great. But, like, but you know, it's it's only because it's become trendy. Uh, like, Niall, did you not say there's a bunch of outlaws down in Newcastle somewhere? Oh, yeah, I do it every day. They do it every day, but they're not all on Instagram and all. They're just like, I'd, and the same thing, like, Maureen has ones that know people down in, like, uh, Donegal. Mm. And every night, you know, like, we're, we're taking mommy down to the fucking water here. It's 98. Mine's gone, but just, like, gotta get that buzz, man. Do you, you know what's a weird thing with, like, stuff like that is, like, everything now is, like, it's, like, an aesthetic so like you'll get people that make videos for like tiktok and it's literally just them like making a coffee sitting down drinking it tapping a keyboard the odd time millions of views people just want to feel calm yeah you know the, that is like S -M -S -M -R, yeah. asmr i watched a video actually of a, of a japanese noodle place opening up shop Aye. fantastic pull the rod off yourself oh, did uh, you yeah that's my go-to hangover video <laughs> you know <laughs> I like a good saddled compilation. Why do people like that shit now? Like tactile, like, you know, like, oh, this boy. Uh, it's just nice. This boy planes surfboards out of a bit of wood. And you're just like. Mm. I watched a video of the day of boys throwing things in slow motion at a water balloon. Watching it bust. Great time. You know, this is the kind of shit now that this is content. N now, now getting in a wheelie bin doesn't seem that mad. <laughs> um, what, what did your ma say the other day? Give us that quote again. That's fantastic. Oh, why there was that like TikTok. I don't know if I was telling you this now. There was this like TikTok prank going about where it was like someone had made like a fake BBC news line, you know, like fucking emergency broadcast. Oh, yeah. Where it was like uh, residents of the UK and Ireland are being warned that uh, Vladimir Putin is uh, planning a imminent uh, nuclear attack on the UK and Ireland. And people are being advised to, uh, you know, take cover where they can. And she's she's listening to this right now. She does think it's real, <laughs> you know, because like she'll prank me the odd time. Yeah. But her pranks are shite. I can get very evil with mine. Cling film in the toilet. Well, hers are like, oh, I've made you a friend. And I get up on a suite of books and she goes, ha, oh, new year, new you. And I'm like, I'm, I'll literally give you psychosis. 
Osis next week. <laughs> so then I put on that, and she's sitting there with a box of celebrations, and she's hoping through them. And the guy's like fully like, oh yeah, nuclear attack, like inbound, whatever. And she just looks up and she goes, is that the end of the whole thing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine she just opened the box and went, no bounties. <laughs> <laughs> and just blur it. Ray, Ray McCann, ready to die. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it is funny to think about, like, most of your news and stuff is, like, big, dramatic, global, American, you know? Yeah. Nuclear this, da 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 da. And then you're literally in Oma. Yeah. You know, I'm literally in the countryside just staring at a hedge. No, oh, I. You can't fucking take any of it seriously. Yeah. You're just like, like, even like, uh, you know, people going, fuck, that's the crypto, like, Casey and all that's the crypto down the tube. And I'm like, is that going to matter a fuck when you're buying a cinnamon swirl and bob and burts and exactly they would take fucking high fives in there now look this is why i don't invest emotionally in anything you know Mm -hmm. i'm just like here day to day is all right you know a couple noodles here and there you know if you're if you're right there and you're wondering you know uh you know you're like man i'm I'm, it's 2023 i'm getting into wellness i'm getting into meditating i'm fucking what do we call that shit when they've what's up mindfulness you know getting into all that shit yeah yeah. and you want to be a, a person who's simplified their life and blocked out everything and you're just focusing on here and the now this is your result my guys yeah <laughs> this fucking lavador this I was, is this I was is your, listening to you being like yep yep sounds good this is your end game you know yeah. you're like i don't worry about anything you know i've yeah. cleared the decks i've cleared the schedule yeah you know sure enough he's you know he's absolutely jonesing off the vapes like but <laughs> alex <laughs> Need a goddamn strawberry kiwi in this bitch. Goddamn, I'm dying. Right, Pedophiles. <laughs> Speaking of weird things on the internet, have you seen, uh, you seen this video? Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show this to Niall. Maybe he's seen it already. But um, this girl steal. Or we talked about this last night. He goes, it? it's not even plugged in. It is very it. well done, though. It is very well done. Jesus, <laughs> Skrillex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do a shame to have a shake. That they've made up a disease. <laughs> oh my god, I need She's got my laugh down, Nutty. My IBS is flared up. You need a shake. Yeah. Take a shake. Is it IBS? Or do you just eat garlic bread and blue WKDs? <laughs> now, what's happening here is do you remember you used to do a bit about Paddy's Day in America? Mm hmm. And people are walking around with like, kiss me, I'm Irish thing. And mm-hmm. you're like, those are my kisses. Mm hmm. Look at these comments. Pissing ourselves. Brilliant. I be shitting. Look, <laughs> you know, just like all this fuck. That's my- here, get onto my page, will you? <laughs> To be fair, it got me a right few new followers. Ah, ah, fuck off! No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about. Look at this guy straight out with a parvin. Are you single or do you have a cute s- single sister I can marry? Damn girl, you got me cracking up with every post. And are truly a woman to my heart. So far, though. <laughs> you know what I love? I love dudes shooting their shot on uh, like Instagram comments, like not even having the. Not even having the stealth to be creepy in DMs, which is a whole other thing, but to go on the comments that are public is a mad one. How horned are you, like? Or ju- yeah, just horned and lonely. Yeah, horned. Eh? <laughs> well, that's what people do. You know what I mean? They're making up fucking. You get to do whatever you want on the internet. You get to reinvent yourself. Yeah. You know, someone sent me a clip of. Have you ever seen this guy? Hold on, let's see if I can find it now. Um, he's put. He, oh, this guy. Did you ever see this guy? No. Have you ever seen that guy now? <laughs> What's this? So, no, I don't, think I don't so. know. Uh, people have sent me stuff in the past. I think he jail broke my Amazon Fire Stick. But anyway, the whole the whole thing with this guy is like, everyone's like, man, you're a fucking nonce. Apparently got a 16 year old up the duff. And, oh. then, and then no one can talk about it. But it's all, you know what I mean? The dude's older than, the dude's about 50. and oh, no. But he's being all like fucking, you know what I mean? He's being all sexy. But this is the internet for you, man. It's hard to be sexy though when the boot cut jeans with a fucking River Island out thick jacket. <laughs> yeah, no. That's a thick boy, yeah, that's a fucking picnic blanket, not here wood. I know, itchy neck. <laughs> itchy. I know, it's like wearing a dog bed. Fuck and that. It, and he looks toasty in the face too, man. He, but he's all like... Nice old gaff though. Nah, I don't know, man. It's he, nice. That's a hotel, bro. You can tell by the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our first home. But everybody's everybody's... Getting on to him like, man, stop being all cutesy with the fucking teens, man, when you're mm. on TikTok. But that's what you do. Yeah, that dude, is probably, it? That dude, but you know what I mean? Probably like fucking everyone who works, like, you know, this fucking weirdo that I work with. And, all, and he's like, yeah, see when I go home, man, that River Island fleece is going on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is it big boy season? 
<laughs> when was it not? Well, we seen that video yesterday of, you know, I don't know where that was. We'll not ruin any lives, but it was somewhere in Northern Ireland where yeah. uh, some reasonably attractive young thing was tongue in the head off some old boy. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 and you're like, there's, you know, people are into all sorts of shit. Yeah. You know, see before, see what was your quote? Someone will ride you. Ah, someone will ride you. McCann, mainly, but someone will ride you. <laughs> <laughs> people are, in, you know, and then you know, you got that song coming out. Fucking, I need a big boy and all. Yeah, you get these big chunky boys like fucking being all sexy with themselves. We'll go TikTok. shopping after, will we? Where? Get me a fucking pack like blanket cardigan. Oh yeah, labs so, and night. Dehydrate you, slap you in the face a few times, so you can be all fucking. I'm not old now, I dare say I, I couldn't get on top of someone right now. You know? You'd never get off? I'd never get on. Give me a nicotine patch and a Viagra. They're fucking good to go. <laughs> It'd be so funny. Yeah, we, we, you'd have him COVID. But uh, <coughs> don't say that. Why? Because I've doctored for three years and then to get it now would be so shit. It'd be so shit. I mean, there's definitely there's definitely a weird uh, relief comes over you when you just get it and get, and get through it and get up, move, on, mm. move on with your life. Move on with your life. That's me now, if I had to move on. So the ma thinks the, the world's over? Uh, well, she did for like a split 20 what seconds. Really didn't do? give two fucks. What would you really well, do? This is it. Sure, here, if we're going to go, and that was real, you know, we're sitting there, we're watching dwarfs on the TV, you know, we have a cup of tea each, you know, There's fuck a, it. Mar- marauders outside, but it's all good. <laughs> if I'm going to go, I'm going to go, you know. Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Although, Michal made a good point last night. He was like, uh, what would happen in a nuclear war? Is they'd bomb London and all? And we'd just, we'd just get the fucking fallout. Uh, and then I said, Arm, Arm be going into the doctors with his big head being like, is this, uh, <laughs> is this is nuclear? Nu- is this nuclear? Is this radioactive poison? And they'd be like, nah, she's the size of your loaf. <laughs> Taking all sorts of things in, spreading the cheeks. Does that look like the side effects of exposure to radiation? They'd be like, nah, it's piles, bro. <laughs> You're like, shut up! Why are you so? Why are you even still working? Oh Jesus Christ! The world's over. I have a strange interest in like that sort of doomsday prep. I like the idea of it. I remember being on a website where you could actually like buy like it was a doomsday prep website. Like it was fucking costly enough. Home base. Millet. <laughs> Millet. <laughs> Tesco's home delivery with beans. That's it. <laughs> I went for breakfast yesterday, um, as I do every day, you know Flex. what I mean? Absolutely lowering it up. Ah, the and, uh, <laughs> this this girl was like, as she was like, Do you want mushrooms and beans or something on the, on the wee breakfast? And I was like, Yes. She goes, Do you want Heinz beans or fancy beans? What's fancy beans? They do like fancy but you know, like they make their own they buy their own separate beans and put the sauce in and different we stuff. We got a chili flakes or what? Aye, something like that there. But I got the fancy beans. Nice. Ten out of ten. Nice. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> How's your year be? 2023, all the water. Fancy beans, bro. <laughs> it's getting real. Up a house. How fancy can you get with beans, though, if you were going out of your way to, like, well, just it, about a chili flakes, maybe a no, little no, bit of seasoning? No, no, it, it tasted like a, it tasted like a, like a vegetable, or like a bean curry. That's what oh, it tasted right. like. It was, like, really quite, if it, it could have taken many forms. If it was a wee bit runnier, it could have been a soup. But like the on beans, you couldn't put on like a piece of toast and put cheese in it. it just no, you could. Be. You could. Uh, you could. Yeah. Yeah. It would just be a slightly up, more upmarket one. Yeah. They were 18 quid, but it was good. Jesus. No, I'm joking. Christ. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Doomsday is here. It's 2023. What are you at? What's, what's, your, what's your dreams? And what hopes? are you at? Uh, off of vapes? Off the vapes. Lose about, honestly, realistically, three stone. Five stone would be nice, you know. Uh, pay off my student overdraft. If anybody works at dance school, by the way, can just get that cleared to fuck make my life handy. And then uh, get an old credit union loan. Just borrow. Uh, that's the, the more business pages I watch. They're like, they're like billionaires are in debt. Yeah, that's what you do, man. Get get a loan from somewhere else. Get a loan to pay that one. Get a loan for that. change your identity. Move away. Yeah, I mean, and then finally, then obviously get the visa. Move to New York. Maybe August if they let me in. And um, that's it. It's a chaotic year because, you know, you have a lot of plans, but none of them are certain. So you can't really, you know, fully dwell into it, you know. What about you? Lose six stone. Six? Jesus No, Christ. not six. I don't know. Yeah, I'd like to... Here's what I'd like to do. Mm-hmm. Work smarter, not harder. That's my th- That's my thing for the year. What does that look like? It looks like just doing less. Uh-huh. Um, doing less for more money. Nice. Might get into crypto. Nice. Bad time? Nope. Oh, the boss is back? The boom I, I is back? I have no idea. I just I have no idea. 
talking about last night, so he was buying a load of platinum. I was like, well, well, Jesus Christ. That, gold? That, one, that sounds yeah. good, doesn't it? Uh, what was that Joe Rogan episode about? Coltan or something? That's what I'm getting That's what I'm getting into. Now, I'm going to give a quick goog too to see if you go off vapes, if a you what? do get all jittery. <laughs> goog it. A goog? Give, give it, it a, a quick goog. goog. Give it a goog. You got to go yeah. hard G on that or people will think you're racist. <laughs> give it a goog. I, I used the term chink in the matrix the other day and I was like, please don't isolate that term. <laughs> Are you going to ham up the Irishness in, in New York? Oh, why? Oh, uh, well, not like... Cause turn, up, turn up on a green suit with it, a top hat. It does kind of make me sick when you see like people like really kind of play into the whole, oh, it's I'm only fucking... Yeah. Know. It's like, just be really good, but it happened to be from here. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Obviously have bits, because you have to reference that you're from Ireland whenever you're doing a set and people don't know you, because they will just stare at you like, what the fuck is he? And then once you do that, just do your shit like... You know what is this Scottish man saying? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Americans just so thick about everything. I got Swedish one time. Thought I was a lovely wee sweet boy. All oh, right, you know. I, I, thought, I, like, I thought you meant like a male. <laughs> <laughs> I went for Swedish one day. It was a flat pack wardrobe <laughs> with fucking meatballs on it. <laughs> <laughs> Every dress of yours. Just Someone thought you were Swedish. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google Swedish man just to see <laughs> Swedish. Look at the comparison. Just a regular Swedish man. Yeah, easy, easy, <laughs> easily done. Hey, fucking spit. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Hey. laughs> Fuck me, the double. Oh my God, you must be Swedish <laughs> after Googling <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's me this morning. Oh, I'm a oh, <laughs> Fuck that man, is white I have what I was talking about. <laughs> Jesus yeah, he, Christ. He's, he, there, that's, you look more like a... <laughs> Take about 15 litres of paint to do that to your head. <laughs> big oh, out, fuck. Big out roller. Cough, definitely on that mic. Oh, I'm sorry. Get no, it. I put it in, put it in my you. hand. I caught it in my hand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you look Swedish. After all of my Swedish investigations. There's that me I, in the water in Port of Ventura, 2007. There you, look at that boy there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. He works in the established. That's more what I would think, like, if, you know, like a, someone that looks like a hot girl with a beard. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that would be Swedish. Swedish, bro? What did they say to you? The, it was at the Echo Park boat rentals. And they were like, where are you from, man? Like Sweden? Oh, fucking idiots. Like, <laughs> it's like, you have brain damage. Eh? Like, I, I think I mentioned this on my last podcast, but I, I was, I think we were in Mexico and the guy was working there, but he, he had like an American accent, but he looked Mexican. You know one of those ones? Yeah. And he was like, where are you guys from? And I was like, oh, Ireland. And he goes, what? what? And I was like, Ireland. And he's, and I was like, we're from like Northern Ireland. No. And I was like, like Irish and he goes Irish cool where are you from <laughs> <laughs> well that's the thing so many Americans you they know, don't even know that Irish is like from the country of no, Ireland no 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 it's just like so many people call themselves Irish out there that they've kind of forgotten about the fact that it's a natural place that exists you know yeah it's the same way like Jewish and all is more like a race over there yeah. than, it, than it is like a nationality yeah or not, not even a nationality but like a you know what I mean uh, you could be like I'm Irish and they're like cool Big fan of the Jews now. There's some crack. You are? Yeah. Oh, and a yeah. few out there in New York. Good crack. Man. Well, sure, if you're into comedy, like, there's a lot of funny Jewish folk. Yeah, there is. You know? Except, you know, there de- just definitely is. Yeah. I don't, where's all the hate come from? Is it because they're smart with money? I don't know. I blame South Park. Someone told me it's just because, you know, they're, they are a community who are kind and work to, with each other. Yeah. And they're very sharing within that community. And then they do seem to accumulate wealth, and then people are like, them seedy bastards. Mm. And you're like, it's because they're friend- they're kind to each other. Yeah. You know, but they do love a bit of dough. The Jews invented be kind. Did they? Hustle, hustle, grind, grind, be kind. Yeah. It's the Jewish slogan. Yeah. <laughs> Stay like nobody's watching. I don't, the, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying this day. I... Are you still, still whopped out? I am absolutely. What's this little sticker inside your coat? Oh, I took it to the laundry. <laughs> 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 Did they come on the sleeve for you? What's this? <laughs> 1583. Is that the, me- the measurements? <laughs> That's what I had for lunch. <laughs> Give me a 1583 with three sides of garlic fries. Good woman. <laughs> What's the big stain on the arm though? Did they go like, That's that freshly dry cleaned and then just monk on the side of it? That's <laughs> almost shooting ropes at it about in the back. That's a nice coat though. How much was that? That's here. 200 dick. This year, uh, no, I think this was a this was a sale code I got before the Ulster Hall, the oh. original one. It was the six of us. Oh yeah, I bought it for that. The bought posters me. over there, bro. 
Pokes is on the floor. I like buying like gig clothes, you know, and then Me you get too. to go, oh, this is from that gig. That's nice. Yeah. Sentimental. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I like doing stuff like that too. Or like if you go to a country and you buy something, you're like, oh, it's time we want to so and so. I got yeah. a Nike Flora shirt. Yeah, that I'm like, oh, this was a nice time in Austin with the boys. Yeah, know? like I have, I definitely have stuff like that. Yeah. I have those Blue Air Max that I got in the Grove. Oh, why? Flex. Which? Nicest cheesecake factory in the world. Oh, put it in your bucket list. It's some spot that isn't it? Oh, it's wild. You know, it's pure refined LA. Yeah, you'll see like, you know, a fucking sixty-eight-year-old man trying to slick his hair back in a Von Dutch t-shirt with like sparkles on it, and then an absolute. <laughs> Fun Fucking ten out of ten, just, just Pornhub slag <laughs> on his arm, and you're like, I see what's happening here. What's more quickly to get you led in 2023, Von Dutch or True Religion? Because <laughs> you can buy both. I'm pretty sure in fucking like Heaton's. I think what gets you laid in this day and age is you dress, you know, like a fucking androgynous Harry Styles type mm. thing. Get a dress on. You could on. be Von Dutch, you could be True Relate, you could be whatever you want, and then some guy walks through in a pair of fucking, you know, flared pants and a blouse, yeah. and you're fucking pulling yeah, the bean off yourself. He's wearing them trousers that, you know, you know whenever dolls go to Africa, and they come back with the wee flying state trousers? Aye. Aye. The elephant pants? Like yes. The, I've been to Thailand pants? Yes. One of those jokes. Yeah. I like a good, I like a good set of jammies now, I have to say. If ja- I could get jam- away with wearing them ja- to, to the club, <laughs> I'd be all over it. Jammies is what we call <laughs> Ass cheeks now. <laughs> I like a nice set of jammies. <laughs> Make them jammies clap. <laughs> oh, there's nothing rides up an arse crack like a pair of sort of flouncy jammies. Like. Oh, Jesus Christ. Never mind getting on in, in your formal dresses, no? No, fuck that. Just mints about the house. Aye. With your hair tied up. Get, get them next checks on you. No, no, not that kind. No? Not the fucking gay pants. Is that what you're no, talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's what I'm into. You're into like the full oil boy, like... Yeah. Three piece jammies. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some old boys that would be going to bed looking better than I've ever looked. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bill McCann, you see? <laughs> Bill McCann, I swear to God, every sleep he had was sponsored by Remus Umo. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Hugh Hefner getting in the bed. <laughs> Starched fucking, you know, like pure s- velvet, silk pajamas. He's <laughs> right off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up in the morning all the static is his hair up like that <laughs> you can tell he's rubbed one out the hair the hair standing on the end <laughs> Jasmine slid off that thing like a wonder Fucking I've hell. never worn pyjamas ever unless it was oh. like a very small child no, I love pyjamas <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you took yours off for laughs last night he was wearing like a wee you know like this sort of navy and red check yoke. he's here and those, it yeah. did look like pajamas. Yeah. I love these. <laughs> love a wee pajama. I do love a wee pajama. Like, what's your go-to? We now, what do you wear to bed? We've we've been over this. He wears uh, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Depends. No boxers or nothing. Like, Cock out. Last night I wore like fucking full like sweatsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed like storms. I imagine now wakes up. You know, like you know, like he's fucking. What was it? what was that Tommy Lee show that was on? Oh, Pam and Tommy. Nah, he just wakes up and kicks all the jack bottles out of the way and all <laughs> fucking reaches over for a half smoked fag. That's how I imagine you wake up. No, I could see Niall like one of them aesthetic videos where he wakes up and he just pulls the fucking jacks up and goes, Jesus Christ. And then has a wee coffee to himself, looks out the window. That's another sneaky move for TikTok. No oh, why? All them girls that are like, here's my outfit of the day. But the first scene is them hiking their jeans up over their hole yeah and you're like why is there 1.5 million followers looking to see what fucking outfit she's wearing the algorithm good day i can see you i can see your two jammies the video open up with your two jammies in my face wind the jammies pump my girl <laughs> there's something so funny about the terminology wine wine it wine it up against me <laughs> Did you <laughs> or even grinding? <laughs> Grind my bollocks into a pulp. Do you not oh say God. some big doll was grinding you in it somewhere? <laughs> and here fucking shit myself. Guys, just interrupting the podcast for a second to mention our kind sponsors, the Calm app. Something we could do with um in the office today. Isn't that right, Aaron? Yeah. Aaron is uh suffering today. Uh, the Calm app, guys, just the best the best product in the world to assist your wellness journey. Um, it has breathing exercises. Aaron's doing one right now. 
<laughs> it has guided meditations. Mm. It keeps you present. It keeps you in touch. It keeps you well. They've got adult nighttime stories. Aaron, do you know that? Who reads this? Killian Murphy is uh, is our favourite at the minute. We go to sleep and he's like, and then we took the train up to Dunluce Castle. And uh, it's a fantastic app. You know, people should be taking time out of their lives. It's 2023. It's New Year, New Me. And uh, if you listen to this podcast, you go to cam.com slash banter. You get 40% off your subscription. Mm. 40% off your membership, which is not to be sniffed at. It's very tasty. It is very tasty. It's a it's a large percentage of, of your membership. <laughs> so that's uh, cam.com slash banter. Um, to get 40% off. And that's my calm voice. I actually feel pretty calm. There you go. It's worked already. Just even mentioning the app. Anyway, guys, back to the podcast. Thanks for listening. You know the way they have that carnival in London? What White guys co- learn black culture. Yeah, let me go. <laughs> play, some, play some music for it. Okay, well. <laughs> so, like, apparently with um, the likes of Dagrin, right? That isn't actually sexual at all. No? That is, it's just a dance, you know? Like, it would be very normal for a woman to receive a dagger in and then post dagger not even speak to the fella and that would be totally normal it's not sexual it's simply culture you're telling me that it's not sexual when no. a guy jumps off three tables stacked on top of each other and pile drives some girl on the fat hole <laughs> like it's in a TLC match like what do they do they shake hands and bow after <laughs> get pun get pun yeah Bow to the fucking ref. Thanks very much. <laughs> he holds the two hands I like got. Winner. But what's the equivalent of like you couldn't like if you did that over here, there would be a video of that that would be circulating TikTok in a matter of minutes. I guess the equivalent over here is just going with someone. But you're talking about the whitest of white cunts of all time over here. Mm-hmm. There's no culture. Like the culture would be you sit on one side of a fucking GAA hall and the women sit on the other side. Yeah. And then when you've had enough pints. Once they start playing Fergie, I'm beelining for I Once they hear fucking scooter back in the UK, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking weirdly grope this girl. <laughs> it used to be the one you go, will you go with my mate? Uh, and then, you know, you'd have to get someone to, you know, send the message. Very Pride and Prejudice, actually, looking back. Mm. And very consensual as well. Send the messenger to. Yeah, it's kind of non threatening. You're like, I don't need your answer to my face up front dwell on it <laughs> Sit, t- talk to my PA come back to me and tell tell me if you'd like a Red Bull tonguing I remember one time stop the music every second I remember one time uh, oh, asking uh, asking my mate to ask a girl to go with me and she said no and I was fuming went to the talk shop <laughs> <laughs> so he's, sat, he's binge eating again <laughs> so sat eating the fried but me a fucking lesbian man he's away drowning his sorrows <laughs> in fucking cola bottles <laughs> Cola bottles and white mice. What? Get, get, get you over, get you over heartbreak, Auntie. Uh, man, don't even worry about her, man. You fucking. Uh, I know you're a nice guy. Just fucking get that six pack of white mice in there. We'll fucking sleep it off. You know what I mean? Ah, Jesus Christ! Get that wee white chocolate button covered in like multicolored hundreds and thousands, man. You forget all about it. I remember a dude went to, where's a group of us, went to 106 Energy 106 disco, or oh, like yeah. raves back in the day. Oh, yeah. And this dude just fucking, he, he just went with about 40 girls. And the only thing he could do was go to the wee talk shop and buy like Red Bulls. <laughs> so he had about six Red Bulls and fucking, you know, full for, full snogged about 40 girls. And then he bugged after. Tom Slater's hanging up. Oh, my I God. Ran. That's what, people think that's where COVID started. But probably. see when you see someone going with each other now, like at this age, it actually is <laughs> disgusting to it's look rank. at. Yeah. You know, you're like, I have some respect. <laughs> Get an E-tap, you know. Get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? There's plenty of things that I can't watch. I th- you know, like um, any of those fucking Love Island type things or whatever, and they fucking s- swoop in for the kiss, and they're all mic'd up, and I was like... And you're just yeah. like... Ugh! People singing at house parties. You're not a fan of that? No? <laughs> yeah, I get that. Who is a fan of that? Yeah, I get that. I get that. I'm like, who do you think you are? Yeah. About, it better be amazing. Yeah. Don't be... To command the attention Don't be the fumbling room. your way through fucking... It's always Wonderwall or something like that. It's always Wonderwall. It's always the common acoustic that just learned it about four weeks ago. It's always Wonderwall. I would like a new hobby. Good. What do you think I should get into? I was thinking jazz piano. Could you see me? Driving? As a <laughs> <laughs> I should get the license. R.I.P. Cam Block. If I don't get it before uh, I go to New York, I'll probably never get it. 
is my fear. Mm. But it is a handling, like. It's a handling that started. Jazz piano, you say? Yeah. <laughs> it's the universe, man. It's meant to, imagine me throwing that out. I could do you a podcast single, no bar. I think it's a lot harder to learn a piano than you think. I, but the subcategory of jazz... Either jazz, the most piano, com- the most complex or, one of it, probably, or I would go maybe get back into the El martial arts. I want basically, I want something. <laughs> I want, I want something that is karate piano. <laughs> ding, ding, jujitsu bass. I want something that isn't like I want something outside of stand up where it's like you're starting again. You know, you've no idea what you're at, and then you just fucking slowly get better. That you know, you have something to distract yourself. With. Power, power left up. Powerlifting, yeah, get into fucking, yeah, do, or like, yeah, do an old jiu-jitsu thing. That's fun. Yeah, that's I a good. That. That's a good sport to get now into. Now that my toes healed up, I think. Spe- <laughs> 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 now that I'm not leaving a snail trail out of my big toe, <laughs> it doesn't smell like a fucking butcher's bin. Uh, I'll be back in a math player. Try an arm bar, me. It'll smell like gunk. You gunk. <laughs> Don't say gunk. <laughs> yeah, someone gets you in a fucking footlock, and you're just the other foot comes over the top, just in front of their face. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, jujitsu's rotten. You will get a you will get a toenail scrape your gum or something. Oh, yeah, like you get the wor- the dirtiest shit of all time. Do you know you were never like whenever I was doing it, you were never just grand. There was always something fucking mat burn or something like that would be the most minimal. I remember when I did like judo when I was younger. There was always a couple of mingers like who stank and they didn't they, no washing of the gay. Oh, I, I, uh, you know. Wash your gear, you yeah. Wash your gear, but then I think whenever I went back to do a bit of jujitsu years later, people were a lot more clean. Like people smelled like they had just showered before they came. Mm. <laughs> well, if you need self respect, yeah. any man does the same. <laughs> yeah, I would do it too. I would like I would get washed and then go to fucking jujitsu and then get washed again. Yeah, yeah. I love standing in the chair. Nice, it's great. Day. And you and you need a new hobby <laughs> when you could be standing in the shower. You fucking idiot. <laughs> I just you know you just gotta be present, you know. Now can you play piano? Uh, I did go to piano lessons for a few years, but I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't say I'm good at it or anything. I don't know, but you know what you're like. I can play a few things. You oh, get chopsticks. You blur chopsticks. I'm no John Legend, but uh, <laughs> no <laughs> chopsticks. No. No. Not for me. Can't even use chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fork, fork kind of guy. <laughs> I love you. Just get to the point where you can play still dry and then quit. Yeah, well, that's what I did. I did bought, you? Yeah, I, bought, I watched Bo Burnham special once. Bought myself a keyboard from Argos. Went home. Was like, I can't fucking learn all this shit, all the fucking keys and all. So then I just <laughs> looked up a YouTube tutorial on how to play still dry. Did that. Took one video of it. And then was like, right, fuck out in the bin. Useless. Why don't you play the bass? Since your dad played the bass, I should play the bass. Oh, Maybe yeah. it's like bass kind of neat. Yeah, I think like. Um, I can't, I can't see you playing anything else, but I could see you playing a bass. You can see me playing the bass. Yeah. Why the bass? Because it's you know it you know it's like you know. Now would you agree? Like sometimes you can just look at a person and be like, I think that person would be better suited to be. Yeah. Like uh, there's a lot so of bands. There's a lot of bands. We go that he is definitely a bass player. Yeah. So you look at me and you think bass. Yeah. Definitely. Have they? No, not necessarily. Like there's a lot of big goofy girls play the bass. Mm. And but like bands that have a girl play bass, she's always out. Like, oh. You know, like a big fucking goofy girl, but she's got rhythm. I would do it. She's ponder rhythm. Any anything you'd like to take up this year at all? I, th- I think I would like to. I would love to go back to jujitsu. It's one of the things I always keep. I keep, keep whistling. I keep saying, and then I just never. It's never in the forefront of my mind. And every time I think about it, I go, "Jesus, I should do that." Yeah, I'd like to go back to that. Um, I want to. I want to make a lot more videos. Mm. Um, and little film type things, not really like just, you know, f- funny things. You know, I feel like I want to do a bit more video making. Yeah. I, I love your vlogs. Like, I'd like to make a, great. I'd like to do more of that. I'd like to do, you know, I used to do wee things just for fun, just wee creative thing, like that wee material video, even though it was years ago and shite. But like, I should do an updated version of that. Mm-hmm. I should, do, I'd maybe like to do or direct even like a music video, come up with a concept for a music video. Fuck yeah. Things like that, you yeah. know, a bit more experimental, a bit more creative. Now, Lenning, you want to sink your teeth into? Come on, boys, let's fucking uh, talk it into existence here. Making money work for me. So why? Money. You've been reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad? I have. Let's see, I can spot that in my life. Also, laugh. more uh, more books. Oh, why? I want to get into more books. More books. What are you thinking? Property? 
No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sweet. First day on the job, is it? <laughs> Property? Who knows? Make money work for me. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good that's a good way to do it. So I can do fun things. I'd like to pay off my student overdraft. That's my thing this year. Get that out the fuck. Dream big. Dream big. <laughs> Three G's. Do you want to watch some videos? Yeah, let's do it. How have I been today for being ill? Grand? Yeah. No less crack than normal. <laughs> <laughs> Your favourite, bro? Scottish people going mental. <laughs> Back again. The reason I've not been on the last week I've put anything on is I've been I found a YouTube channel that teaches you how to play the castanets. So I've been studying that for the last week. I'm going to show you my efforts. Here we go. <laughs> Double clack of the teeth coming out. If you're listening to this audio, there's this guy playing the guitar and then he goes to speak at the end and the teeth. <laughs> oh. I wish I could find that is fucking tremendous. Oh god. Oh I, and it's god. so you know it's so funny and kind of sad. Just the innocence of like I find myself in you we hobby. I like to play guitar on the on the YouTube. You know, he's like, here's my efforts. <laughs> Clacking the teeth out. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, four weeks into Invisalign, I'm like, bro, get me a set of them. <laughs> get me a set of the fucking full fucking inserts. What are them things where they're like pink and all, you know? Like false teeth, like dentures. They're, oh, Jesus Christ. That's that's when you, that's when, I mean, he's Scottish. Of course he doesn't have a tooth in his head. Bill Ian used to have that. They just leave it around the house. It was like an all Easter egg All the teeth, like? No, with the top. He had the top one. <laughs> but then you looked at it. It looked like someone that would be in a fucking Nelly video. It was like, you know, you looked at it and it was like half guile. It was like iced out. Oh, yeah? You know? Oh, gold? Aye. No, not as... Okay. <laughs> but, uh... <clears throat> I fucking... That's so funny. Would you take a gold tooth? I'd take one for the crack. Uh, where would you put it? Right here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah that would be funny. I think... I'll that, dirty her. I think... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Would you take an old gold tooth? Oh, I right in the middle. Where, right in the middle? Oh, I. It's got to be right in the middle, or uh, kind of bad boy, maybe at the side at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, mm, we one of those, but yeah. Uh, probably, I would just be bold with it and just have it right in the middle. Yeah. What's the what's the what's your point in terms of male accessories? <laughs> Sorry, what's your fucking point? What's my point? I think. Would you ever wear a chain? I I think it's absolutely fine to do anything but like i know for a fact that certain things don't suit me so if i if i if i put a necklace on that looked like in proportion that i should be wearing it yes i, I would be mr t it would ha it would have to be a big <laughs> fat chain for Flame the look flips. i can't wear like a wee cute one with a wee fucking pendant on it no i don't think i, I would, can either it would get tangled in the pubes and all <laughs> if you can pull it off wear whatever you want like I, I know boys with like a wee a wee small nose piercing and it's quite subtle and you go oh that is actually cool yeah, but if well i had it i'd look like a fucking idiot yeah we'd look like lesbians yeah <laughs> God. but like i like the i like the fucking chain over the like black t-shirt with a shirt over the top mm. i like that mm. but again good luck finding a fucking chain for that for me like uh, you be taking it off a dog lead <laughs> ice you. it out ice it out uh, i don't know it's if you can pull it off fair enough but it, i mean there's boys that <laughs> wander into the like johnny depp territory and they look like a magician that's my mantra for 2023 if you can pull it off fair enough <laughs> it's also a chat up line too <laughs> well love if you can pull it off <laughs> after fair the enough. hammer and i've given this morning <laughs> If you can pull it off, fair play to you. You ever had a good hand job? <laughs> Weirdly, yes, eh? Uh, yeah. Who, who was he? <laughs> it was uh, it was a yoke with small hands. You know, uh, that's the key. Uh, yeah. Both. You want <laughs> you want someone with the hands of like sooty and sweep, uh, yeah. giving you an island bash, Andy. Uh, Have uh, you? Aaron's a pedophile. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you want someone? You want Yoko to eat small hands? You know. <laughs> still got fucking. Still got a patty for Lou on on the knuckles. We'll cut the all that out. Uh, <laughs> did, I, <laughs> did I tell you about the the yolk in Dublin? So I was doing that. Bit. Is that the most Aaron McCann thing ever to have the mic like that? What? So uh, like just our sways. Unorthodox, but bro. In yeah. a more awkward position. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, go ahead. Go, no, it's, no, sorry. Don't, I don't mean yeah, there's more angles. Uh, I don't mean to make yourself conscious. I'm fucking take my teeth out. Um, I was doing a gig and I was doing a gig in Dublin at the crack then, right? And you know that bit I do where it's like I'm going down and make girlfriend at the time, and she's like, "What do I taste like?" Yeah. And then I always ask a guy in the audience, yeah. "Whoever's girlfriend, you know, you tell me what you just said, and you ask, and they always fucking freeze up, and then it's the handy I laugh to be like, look at the fucking fear in this guy's face.' For the first time ever doing that bit, a guy had an answer, right? So it was an English guy, and he had an American girlfriend, nice. right? So I've I've wrote a demo to give me the clip to try and like piece it together because it is like you know. It is like one of them things where you're like, this will never happen again. Mm-hmm. So like I say to him, I was like, oh, have you got an answer, mate? And he was like, yeah, bro, yogurt. And I was like, you just tell a room full of strangers on Christmas Eve Eve, your girlfriend's funny, there's like yogurt, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then she was an American and she goes, best damn yogurt he ever had. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, you got that fucking patty for loop, I see, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, my make apps. <laughs> What does Patty Falou mean, little monkey? <laughs> what? What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking Patty Falou'd myself here. Patty Falou'd up. Patty Falou. Little, I uh, little. But translation. Translation. Yogurt though. Take it or leave it. No, I mean like, what are you talking, Greek? Depends well, yeah, what, that's the thing, it depends yeah. what sort of yogurt he's talking about. Throw you. Uh, it turns out Patty Falou is this simply a fresh cream cheese from Ashbury. Uh, where's, the, where's the translation? Oh, wait, here we go. Little Rascals. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Bag of Patty Falou's in here today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, the little Rascals right over. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I would be, I would be asking specifically what yoga are you talking about? <laughs> we should call, we should make our WhatsApp group chat just the free it wasn't called Patty Hoers. <laughs> Although, uh, you know, the the brand, the brand name of that fucking Greek yogurt is literally called Fudge, <laughs> and people try and tell me it's fi- f- like what do they say? It's fire or something? Fucking Fudge, bro. It's fire. Fudge, bro. That fudge and you little rascal. <laughs> <laughs> it's only after a shite in the duvet that fucking Patty Falou. I, I, you did that bit somewhere, and I don't know even know if you heard it, but some someone did actually just go gammon. <laughs> 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 was that? I dare say that was in Tyrone, was it? I don't. I can't remember. That's so funny. What do I taste like? Ah, it's so funny. You should have been like, "Do you want the truth?" Or do you? <laughs> yeah. You know the hit at the back of the PlayStation? <laughs> That's what it smells like. You always say that. Uh, What's that all about? Don't know. You ever smell the back of a PlayStation? No. <laughs> Man, you know what I'm talking about? No, I didn't play PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucked an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> and you said at the back of the PlayStation, like... Uh, uh, someone will back me up. What does the back of the PlayStation smell like? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Varney? Uh, how do you... That's the name of the podcast. Petty Varneys. <laughs> uh, New Year's resolution is to laugh away from the mic this year. That's something I'm working nah, on, too. Pe- nah, people are here for it. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, this is so weird. So, obviously, you grew up going, this is the smell I know and love. And <laughs> then, you you know, you stumbled across a fanny, and you're like, God damn it. Yeah. I heard the fucking... She was the, straddling the PS. The intro music in my head and all. Yeah. Weird. If anyone else has a, P, a PlayStation at home wants to sniff the back of it and <laughs> tell us what it smells like. Yeah, do a direct comparison if you can. I wonder, what is, what is you know, is there, is there a go-to for women where they're like, all right, cock just smells like, you know, what does it smell like? Parmigiano Reggiano or whatever we call it. 
<laughs> smells like a fucking bun bag of baby bells. Rockport. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be getting my gorgons hole in the night. <laughs> Would you like these fr- Frank's hot wings with a side of cock sauce? <laughs> AKA ranch. We <laughs> did that fucking day. R- root and ranch. Uh, <laughs> root and ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just oh. Oh, some crack, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a shame fellas didn't make up that shit. Like, oh, the old cock cleans itself. <laughs> Women walking around being like, it's cleaned itself. <laughs> With what? Yeah. Another old family. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't even like writing. I just like having a clean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, the best you can hope for is you know you've you've got someone just fresh out of the shower. Yeah, kind of smells like nothing. Well, that's ideal. Like morning sex is is disgusting. I know, nice. disgusting, nice. Especially if you've had like, you know, you ever have a bag of crisps before bed, and you pay for it the whole of the next day. No, what? Just me. You eat crisps in bed, and then no, you're... no, no. You have a bag of crisps, but like late in the night, so within the next hour hour and a half you are going to bed mm-hmm. and you wake up the next day and you just have a fucking Aye. rotten yeah. i think that might be the worst thing you can do i think that might be the worst thing you can eat late it, at night it only happens to me like um like say i was on the piss and then i fucking had like a kebab or something fell yeah. asleep immediately and then the first thing you do in the morning is like a garlic burp and you're like oh i'm a dirty cunt Domino's will fuck you up too huh Domino's will give I you a hangover yeah Domino, yeah it's disgusting like but what are you saying someone's funny smells like a fucking no, 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 not even, but just like, if you know, morning sex, it's like, you know, er- everyone's breath stinks. You're like, here, let's process the fact we've just woke up here. Mm. Take a shower, you know, get the manscaped ball toner out, go back, nice, healthy, fun for the whole family. Yeah. Your body's full of, you know, the, the material that it needs rid of in the morning. Yes. You know, you're like, let me shite, piss, shower, brush my teeth. You know what and I mean? And then the fucking jammies are coming off. And then, and then the fucking fee piece jammies. And you're the taking the bow tie off and all. You're, you're getting it. Thank you, Next, for the great pajamas you make. But then, you know, it feels the best in the morning. If you can put up with the aromas. Yeah. Just put a clothes peg in your nose. Yeah. That's how doggy style was invented. Madam, your breath is repulsive. <laughs> Face southwesterly, <laughs> and I will clatter the jammies <laughs> off you. <laughs> clatter the jammies. <laughs> clatter the jammies. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I'd lo- I'd love to see you just full full clap on someone's cheeks just for <laughs> just for the just for the the sort of David Attenborough science vibes of it. I would watch any of my friends have sex. Definitely. Yeah. It'd like a- it, it should be. It's it's a fun. I think it would be a fun thing. Not that I want to be involved in the threesome, but it'd be funny to like, be like to, a private Snapchat. Story it'd be funny. Like no, that? just in the corner, having eating your crisps at the side, uh, and just you know, you're just like yeah, and you're slagging them and all. You know, like that'd be funny. <laughs> that'd be great if yeah. I was just on the side, be like, don't fucking don't let that head <laughs> drop forward, you killer. You know what I mean? Nice socks, McCann. Oh, I was about to say thanks. And you just, <laughs> you just going at it. Christmas hamper. Me just, you know, critiquing your sex playlist. I was a fucking hater there. <laughs> <coughs> Good luck, big girl. She's, <laughs> he's got the fucking... A got, sex he's got, playlist. He, he's got the Tyler on. Do you have a sex playlist? No. No. I think it's weird to have sex with me. Any sort of audio in the background at all? Yeah. I'd have sex that. If it happens to be on, fine. But if, um, listen, if we're, if we're having sex, the opening of the Japanese noodle shop stays on. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. But I I think... Uh, Clapping cheeks with Mr. Beast on the background. Just whatever I've just been watching. Well, like the... So the one of the apartments I stayed in, in New York, right? So it was my mate Spencer and his mate John. And there was one night, he brought a lady back, right? And I came into the house. Is this the goth one? Who's that? You said some... Uh, BTG. Oh no, he's, he's, he's into that kind of oh, okay. stuff, you know. Um, like every girl he brought back, it looked like she'd give you a side quest and like a fucking choose your own adventure game or something. So he <laughs> brings her back, right? And I walk in, 
And I can, I can, and I did. I can hear the cocktail of sounds I hear is him just fucking, and then a bit of James Blake in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh, do I it all around here? And just fucking, and then he came up to get a glass of water, and I was in the air mattress, and I was like, you put a tight <laughs> shift on there. <laughs> I thought you meant you. I was in his air mattress. <laughs> <laughs> just make it out. <laughs> Gone ahead, look. Me and you could just be in our mattress, just pull, oh, a blanket, yeah. just pull a wee blanket over your top. Two bean bags. <laughs> Tear away. <laughs> <laughs> Two bean bags. That's our fucking tag team. <laughs> Two bean bags. <laughs> Here's a video for you. Today, from a business owner in Northeast Portland who has a woman who's high on drugs camping just outside her retail business. She asked, who do I call? Steam call off a thing. this happened. <laughs> Yesterday, the same woman was yelling obscenities and threatened a customer. So the police came by and gave her a bottled water and left the scene. Ball of she there. chucked the water bottle into the street. After my advice, the business owner told the woman that she cannot camp there. She picked up her Jesus sleeping bag, Christ. left her trash, Look at and that. went down the road. I got a call today from... Yeah, she's homeless, you fucking idiot. The woman was throwing shit around. She's, she's out of her mind, pissing in the street, bro. I've never seen more steam and piss in my life. She's well hydrated. Are you sure she threw the bottle, the bottle of water away or did she drink it all? <laughs> she's pissing hard there. What do you do, man? Homeless? Yeah. They're trying to, you know, they're hitting that with logic. That they're going, is... this woman is behaving strangely. Yeah, no shit. She's a crazy homeless person. What are you talking about? Let's watch this. We'll watch this guide to Northern Ireland. How long have we been talking for now there? Too long? You, uh, Mom needs to be away. Northern Ireland. So Northern Ireland is actually separated by a giant wall of ice. Just simply climb the giant ladder and next thing you know you're in Northern Ireland. The people seem super... I was going to say that people seem nice, but I guess not. What's that guy's problem? They have beautiful golf courses in Northern Ireland. Really? What is with everyone here? If you run into any locals, make sure to tell them that you're Irish because your great-great-grandfather was born in Belfast. The locals just love it when tourists do that. The police officers are dressed a little strange. Buying a boat is a great way to see the coastline of Northern Ireland, but I would strongly suggest not buying a boat that was made in Northern Ireland. They kind of suck at making boats. Find yourself a nice Nordic ship and then use that to explore the coastline. This staircase rock formation is really cool and home to giants. They're really passive, so if you get bored, just kind of pop them in the nards. Seeing the coastline from a cliff edge is a beautiful... Really? Oh yeah, there's also mermaids in Northern Ireland and... Uh, oh, hey, yo, hear me out. Here's how you survive Northern Ireland. There, it's good, isn't it? Nice. It's nice there's animation style. What, what is it about... Are you on that? You what is it about uh, being from here? When as soon as you hear that sort of thing, you're like, fuck off. Yeah. Northern Ireland. Oh, we're in Northern Why do you say, oh, call it up? Sure, you fuck up too, would yeah. you? You fuck up too. We can't deal with anything, can we? Belfast, Northern Ireland. No, you just can't deal with fucking any of that shit. Yeah. Anyone criticizing anything? Yeah. You, you fuck. Well, it's, it's, it's funny because, like, you know, we're always like, you know, anyone from over here is like, ah, oh, this place is a fucking cap, whatever. And then you hear someone else talk shit and you're like, you want your fucking mouth. Oh, that's what it is. It's our shithole. Yeah. That's a good name for a podcast. It's our shithole. Are we shithole? Uh, now, nah, I finally watched The Banshees of Ernest Nairn. Oh, yes. Right now. Well, what do you think of it? Mixed reviews. Do you see it? I haven't seen it yet. Um, I was... Uh, now, this is probably the very obvious complaint that everybody has. I was enjoying it. I was enjoying the darkness of it. Uh -huh. it, was, it looked beautiful. Um, I was enjoying the, as, as the story developed. And then it ended right when you thought... Where you wanted to see where the film went, if you know what I mean. Uh-huh. How long was the film? Uh, two hours. Yeah, about two hours. Would you agree now? It's sort of, but that's probably the whole point of it is, yeah. you know, everybody, any spoiler, like everyone fucking dies off around them and then they're kind of just left together anyway. Mm. Um, But then you sort of go like, I would have liked to have seen what happened after that, but I guess that's what the point of it is. Am I right or wrong now? You've seen more films than I have. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I suppose so. Although well, it's kind of cool to have an ending like that yeah. as well. You know what I noticed about me? But it is, is if, annoying. If well, I, is it, did you feel the same though? Like, <clears throat> it felt like it was like, yeah. <clears throat> if that was a normal like Hollywood film, you would, they would get to that point and then you would see how they got on after. Yeah. But it just kind of stops. Do you have this where if you show someone something that you like and they don't like it, you're like, you're a stupid cunt. Uh, you almost get like offended. Yeah, no, there is. not really. I have that way badly. I, did, I probably did at one point, but then I'm just like, fucking whatever. 
Yeah. I don't really care anymore. <laughs> You're too dumb to understand Final Destination. <laughs> Mother. They all die. Did you like the film? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. I must watch it. It was a lovely shot. It was beautiful. I've been watching a lot of rom coms. What like? Uh Before Sunrise, that yeah. trilogy. That's nice. Uh Five Year Engagement. Great. Very, very funny. Meant to say it to you last it's night. It's a wee it's a wee sleeper of like one of the funniest films ever. Very good. Very, very good. And then what else did I watch? Oh, that, that not a rom com, but uh, there's a film A twenty four made last year called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Oh yes, I haven't watched it. It's similar to like that uh, Spring Break film. Yeah. Where it's like it's the dumbest shit you'll ever watch, but it's oddly enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Miss Sunshine's good. What's that now? It's like a rom com. Steve Carell's in it. Yeah. Very good. It is good. Um, what was the other? There was like one with Steve Carell. And he sort of thinks he's like falling in love with this woman or something. And then they go away on a trip. And then he's got like the husband arrives or something. What the fuck maybe is that? I must look that up. Oh, yeah. What is that? What is that? Emily Blunt's in it. Yeah. Prime, prime Blunt as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tasty. Prime Blunt. <laughs> At the end of the day, this is all you need to know. <laughs> Do that. Do you don't that. fuck need a job when you can cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking on a Sony Ericsson. This is a real deep cut. Nine years. years ago, 189 views. Oh. <laughs> that's that's deep, literally someone's mate. That's deep cut. <laughs> Who the fuck needs a job when you can cruise? <laughs> I fuck, agree, bro. Who the fuck needs a job when you can cruise? Is that in the past, you're saying? Yeah, uh, that's... <laughs> now, uh, we will have to get out of here because Niall is a prophet. Have you watched this before? Oh, I. I've watched, I've watched this very high before. All right, well, we'll save that for another day. Um, we'll watch my full podcast from another day. <laughs> <laughs> Plug. No, we'll, we'll get out of here. Um, now's a professional. He has other jobs. Uh, play this before we go now, because you've intrigued me with no, this. No, I'm going to play this. This is a fantastic way to end. <laughs> I know what happens here. So I think I can tell. I, I might, I might have to step away. <laughs> I will obviously play. You like, know what I mean? Bastard. See, see, this is Steve Jobs, you cunt. It's Musk now, the cunt. Musk? <laughs> Elon Musk, you fucking bastard. Uh, 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 Prime uh, Musk? Prime Musk? <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll call the podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> of course, I mean, hey, Colin, you ever worked at a computer before? Nah. <laughs> That is the most Scottish noise of all time. So so Scottish as well to be like, you cut my fucking nose off <laughs> instead of just like you've got sauce on me. But it's it's so funny to like like wake up and be covered in fucking red sauce and think these fuckers have cut my nose <laughs> off. <laughs> my family's cut me fucking nose off. I fall asleep at Christmas, my close family. I've taken that upon themselves to cut me fucking nose off. That's our go-to, like <laughs> my worst fear. Come tree! <laughs> Cut me fucking nose off! <laughs> the noise though. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I seen a video the other day and uh, <laughs> someone walks in this boy's room and they're like, I thought he was I thought he had woken up and he was singing, but he was actually just snoring and this uh. guy's asleep just going ah! <laughs> 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 Oh fuck. Oh, that's delightful. Oh great. We've made it. We did it. We'll get out of here. We did it. You gonna be okay, huh? I'm gonna go for a sleep right now. Where can you sleep? I don't know. I might, <laughs> might just book into the eat tap. I don't know. Nice. Well, that's it, folks. Thank w you. Welcome guys. to 2023. 
You bunch of little rascals. <laughs> you bunch of petty hooters. You petty hooters. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see you next week. If anything to plug? Uh, you know, just be present. One of the questions on Patreon was, are you going to have a tour, a tour of your own? Yes, I'm going to be touring June this year. Yeah. Nice. He's going to be the inside scoop for you. He's going to be touring in the summer. Um, I wasn't too sure what I was going to do with stand-up, and then I did some new bits last night and got very excited about them, so... Very exciting bits. I've still got the boys it. were turning out the new shit last night. I've still got the boys it. were going to the workshop one month off. I've still got it. I it might be it, you know could be as well to you know market it here, but it could be my last tour for a wee while. You know if I get this visa and fuck off. You know yeah, I might come over your neck of the woods for a tour then. I do do a couple of New York spots. Absolutely show these motherfuckers. Will you fuck up to? What's, What's up? up? You know you're like. Fucking Greek yogurt out of someone's blurt, have you? I'm Swedish. Clatter the jammies of the New York comedy circuit. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Clip that. Have a new year, guys. Make sure to clatter some jammies. <laughs> and that's it. Good luck to you. Thanks, Aaron. Otherwise, I'm going to go get a, um, a lamp sip. Thanks, now. Yep. Thanks, now. Yep. Thanks, man. Thanks, the listeners. Um, just round of applause in the way. Oh. Good work, team. Starters mean to go on. That's it. Good start, boys. That's it. Get the finger out. Get the fucker stuck in them. Straight away. You know what I mean? We're away. Oh. <sighs>